Hello, this is Pastor Jeff. We want to thank you for joining us for this online worship experience. I hope you're blessed by this word today. And if you want to know more about Hope Church, you can visit us at this website below me, realchurchforrealpeople.com. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Speak it with me. Let's say that verse again. I just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus.
in this place. We love to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth.
you stand for the, the man of the Lord to come? And uh, I don't know this man real well, but we've we've kind of bonded through the relationship he has with Connie, and and we were able to have lunch together once, and we've talked together a few times, and he shared his heart of what God's doing. And I don't know too much about him, but I know he loves Jesus and he's full of the Holy Ghost. So that checks most of the boxes for me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And he's doing a work for the Lord. And sometimes it's interesting just to see what God's doing in other parts of our world. Amen. And he's from Ghana, Africa. And, and we might be even doing a little mission trip over there in the in December. We'll see how it all plays out for us. But God is moving, working. He does have a book. And this is what I like about this gentleman. He doesn't set a price to come in here. He just comes in because he wants to follow the Lord and bless you. Even the book that he has at the end of the service, he doesn't charge you $15.99 or $10.99. He says, you give me a donation and all the money goes to the work in Ghana. So uh, make sure you pick that up at the end. And we'll talk more about that at the end. We wanted to come and just share with you. And he has some pictures and show you the things that God is doing. So Pastor Joseph, come and take your liberty. Let's give the man of the Lord a hand clap as he comes. Amen. Please, you can have your seats. I'm really excited and privileged to be here this morning. Amen. And uh, thank the Lord for this opportunity to share with us. And we also want to thank our senior pastor, Pastor Jay, for this opportunity. Shall we honor him with a clap of friend? Yeah, God uh, brings people into our lives, most importantly, to learn from them. And uh, as a pastor, one of my goal is to be able to learn from people that God brings into my life. And I know that it's not an accident that I have met with Pastor Jeff. God brought him into my life that I could learn from him. And uh, for the past few weeks that we've been speaking by the Spirit, I've been learning from him, and I'm still learning from him. Amen. Amen. So those of us who are here and under his covering, we are privileged to learn from a spiritual leader who is living a selfless life. Um, our greatest responsibility as Christians is to walk in the Spirit. Amen. Right. Come on. Come on. That's our greatest responsibility. Jesus said, if anyone wants to come after me, he must deny himself. Amen. Yes. Luke chapter 9, verse 23, we look at that. And he said unto them, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Amen. So God expects every one of us to walk in the Spirit daily. That is what it means to take up the cross and follow me. And uh, I want to say this, that our pastor here, Pastor Jeff, is a man that is walking in the Spirit. You don't see him. Anytime I look at him, I see Jesus. Yeah. It's one of the difficult things for every one of us to do as children of God. Because one of the things I realize is that every human being is selfish in nature Come on. and Jesus said if you want to follow me deny yourself yes. Come on. Amen. deny yourself so when you meet people who have denied themselves for the purpose of Christ mm -hmm. you count yourself blessed to meet such people Amen. and I'm blessed to have come in contact with you pastor so blessed Amen. And I want to thank God for our sister Connie for introducing me to Pastor Jeff. Yeah, she's such a wonderful person to me. 
And uh, I've learned a lot from her as well. She has such an excellent spirit. She wants everything to be done in an excellent way. And I'm, I'm privileged to have her in my life. I'll be glad if we give a clap of friend to her as well. <laughs> All right, so um, basically, uh, I am Pastor Joseph Jacon. I am the senior pastor of Global, Global Light Evangelistic Missions um, in western part of Africa, Ghana. And our church has started um, for two years and seven months now. And by the grace of God, uh, it's growing and it's leading many to Christ. Yeah. We, we started from nowhere, but God is taking us from glory to glory. And um, Amen. Pastor Jeff has allowed me to show you a couple of pictures of what is going on there. So I kindly ask our, our media team to put them on the screen. Yeah, this is how the place looks like. It's a waterlogged area and like a playing ground. And we started from that, that side. Uh, that's how it looks like when it rains. It's very waterlogged, clay area. Yeah, you can see our canopy that we started in there. A uh, little wind will blow the canopy away because it was not that strong. So we, we <laughs> all right, so we go. All right, so in the evenings, uh, when we started our project with a, a new building, that's how it looks like in the evening. We meet in the dark, and then uh, we have service. All right, so some of the congregation. Amen. Yeah, still congregation. Yes, yeah, so that's the building currently. Yeah, that's our roads. So once in a while, the church will try to mobilize people to fix the roads. We have very bad roads. So once in a while, we mobilize people in the community and we try to fix the roads. When it rains, nobody can walk, no cars can go through that. These are some of the people God brings to our church. The young man you see in there who was kidnapped. Um, and then by the grace of God, he escaped from the kidnapped. Uh, kidnappers, and then whilst we were on an evangel a soul winning trip, we met him, and then we brought him to church. All right, so that's how. And then uh, you can see the bell on there. Uh, this how our, our worship team, the one leading the worship team, which uh, just under the sun. All right, so this a homeless guy um, through a soul winning uh, event, we met him, and then we brought him in church before and after pictures you can see there. Amen. Amen. Yeah, some of the congregation. Yeah, so that's the first day the church started. That's first day, that was how the place looked like, the first day we started, yeah. Yeah, so the foundation, when we started the foundation of the work, all right, so after a couple of uh, um, months, we were able to get some money to fix a new hat on the canopy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's our children. Yes. Uh, and then that's, uh, we have uh, last Sunday, there were about 45 children, uh, according to the report I received last Sunday. And so one of the challenges we have currently is our children's church. We don't have a children's church. So our children goes to a, they goes to um, like an uncompleted building, someone else's property to meet there. So every Sunday or uh, service days, um, I, will, I have to be under the sun and preach for um, uh, about three hours. I just have to be under the sun. You know how the sun is hot in, in back at home. I just have to stay uh, because it's a new church and you don't have potential people who can lead worship, lead prayer. So you just have to start everything from the beginning to the end until now we have a couple of people that have been trained to help with the work. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So thank you. Thank you, media team. Yeah, so Pastor Jeff has allowed me to say this and just to let you know the current needs that we have. Uh, we, we have um, a challenge with um, our children's church. Um, 
it will take about uh, $3,000 to get a children's church put together uh, at the upstairs for our children to have a safe place of worship. Uh, and then the second need we have uh, with the church building is um, we're still sitting on the clay ground. It hasn't been tiled yet. And uh, we're looking at 1,200 plus to be able to get the entire auditorium tiled. Uh, and then the final thing is to fix our air conditions. So we need uh, roughly about three air conditions in the auditorium, uh, and one is going for $330, yeah, $330. So roughly for three, it will also look like a thousand dollars. So in, in all, we, with $5,000, we'll be able to get the church uh, fully completed to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. And my final word um, is uh, just to let us know uh, that we must all be practically involved in laboring Amen. towards the advancement of God's kingdom. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We must all be practically involved. Every day you have to look at what you can practically do to advance God's kingdom. Yes. Yes. Until we are doing that, we have not started serving God yet. Mm. Come on. Until you and I are practically involved in doing something, laboring towards the advancement of God's kingdom, right. you have not started serving God yet. Right. Amen. And everything it will take you to labor for the advancement of God's kingdom is worthy. It's worth it. You do it. During this time of um, getting to put together this project, one of the things that I said I had to practically do to help in advancing the work that God has placed in my hands was to deny myself of many things. And that was what, what I started with from Luke. Jesus said, if any man wants to follow me, he must deny himself. Mm -hmm. right. I remember clearly uh, I had to uh, stop buying toothpaste because I want to save money for the work of God. So rather for using toothpaste, we have some sticks, bush, we are in the bush, so I just go every morning, I just pick a, uh, some stick, neem tree. Some of you know the neem, neem tree. Yeah, it's very healthy for cleaning the teeth and it's free. So I've been doing that for a couple of months. And so like uh, bathing with good soap, we have soaps in back at home that I, I use for washing clothes and soaps that uh, I use for bathing. Those for washing clothes are very cheaper. And so that's what I use for bathing because I want to be able to save money to do the work of the Lord. Food-wise, I, I eat once a day because if I show you some of my pictures, you will not believe it's me. Even though I'm not fasting, I literally deny myself from food because the work of God must go on. And let me tell you, some of the missionaries who travel to Africa to get the work of God started in Africa have done worse than I, 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 I did or I'm doing now. They have done, they have sacrificed several ways. I've learned uh, the history of many of these um, missionaries. They have really sacrificed. They have really went the extra mile to work, to labor towards the advancement of God's kingdom. Amen. So one of those nights, honestly, I was, I was frustrated with the work that God has called me to do. And I was like, God, if you really hadn't called me to do this work, just speak to me so that... <laughs> I stop. I can go find myself a job to do and then something to do and be free. Because I was really frustrated and I wanted to know if God was involved in what I'm doing and uh, uh, the way forward. So in my frustration, I started praying to God. 
And whilst I was praying to God, I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit said to me, read Psalm 132. And I want to read a few verses of that as I close. So immediately I heard the voice, I stopped, and then I took my Bible open to Psalm 132. And here is what it says, remember David and all his afflictions. So God was telling me, I mean, you are not the only one who's gone through afflictions. People like David have gone through that. <laughs> And how he swore unto the Lord and bowed unto the mighty God of Jacob. Let's go forward. Surely I will not come into the tabernacle of my house, nor go up into, let's go forward. He said, I will not go give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids. Go forward. Until I find out a place for the Lord and a habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. Hallelujah. I said, "What? Well, I'm on the right path. <laughs> I'm on the right track. I just have to go ahead and labor. So I'm leaving two things with you today, uh, this morning. First, our greatest responsibility as children of God is to walk in the Spirit. Amen. And I'm happy our pastor here is doing that. If we follow him, we will learn how to walk in the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And second... Until we are practically involved in laboring towards the advancement of God's kingdom, we have not started serving God yet. Right. We have Amen. not started serving God yet. Like Pastor Jeff said, the easy breakthrough is a new book that God has inspired me to write. And the message in this book is to help us learn how to follow the Holy Spirit. Yes, amen. How to follow the Holy Spirit. It said, they that are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. Yes. He said, it's not by might, it's not by power, by but by my Spirit. Yes. When we all learn how to follow the Holy Spirit, life will be easy for us. Yes. And Pastor Jeff, I'm telling you, if every one of us will learn to walk in the yes. Spirit, Amen. that is to follow the Holy Spirit, yes. this earth will be like heaven. Yes. There will not be chaos in this world anymore. Yes. That's what we need. There will not be chaos. I mean, that is the greatest antidote to the peace we are looking for, to the prosperity. The earth will turn into heaven in just a second if everybody in the world will learn to follow the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He is our leader. Thank you so much, Pastor Dev, for the opportunity. So, the process from this book um, is used towards a work. It's an orphanage. We'll be there in um, uh, December. God willing, Pastor Jeff will see the orphanage. It's, 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 it's an orphanage work we are doing. So, everyone that uh, gives an offering for this book is going into the orphanage work um, in Africa. Ghana. So I encourage you to get one, and so you can be a blessing to the work that God is doing back at home. Thank you all, and thank you, Pastor Jeff, for the opportunity.